if you were currently teaching, for example, uh, Spanish 100 last semester uh, using chapters one through six of the textbook. And now you're going to be teaching Spanish 100 again in the spring semester, let's say, and you're going to be using the same chapters and you're going to be using the same assignments, and you've also customized and changed maybe some of your course settings. Uh, just for example, maybe you uh, changed the number of attempts or changed how you're, you added some columns to your gradebook. Maybe you built your gradebook so you could weight uh, different items or things your students were doing in the class or even outside of class and produced a final grade. Uh, maybe you uploaded some documents or rearranged some of the course materials or created any of your own content. If you did any of those things and you want to save yourself some time, uh, the best thing to do would be to copy that particular course uh, since you'll be using the same material again in the next semester you'll just have a new set of students and so to do that you would choose uh, the section that you were using the course and you use the options menu and you can copy the course and this course uh, will open up and then you can rename the course select new start and end dates and then click copy we have a separate video on more in-depth um, look into what happens when you copy a section. And also one thing to note is your assignments will be removed off the calendar in your new copied course. And you'll be able to tell which activities you did previously assign. Um, and you'll be able to reassign them to the calendar for new due dates. All of that is covered in our separate video called Copying a Course. If you are you were the, teaching this current semester Spanish 100, and now next semester you're going to be teaching the second half of the course, so covering different chapters, so maybe Spanish um, 110. And if you were doing that, then you might then you're not going to want to copy the course because you're going to be copying over material you created uh, for different chapters and different content. And so what you would then do is you would search the catalog and create a new course um, from the catalog and then you can set up your new course uh, with and then assign materials and create materials for the additional chapters that you're doing. Um, and then after that semester, you can then copy that course over for future semesters. And so the, the key or the trick is, is that if you're going to be teaching the same exact content again the next semester, and you've done a lot of settings and changed a lot of things inside your course, you should definitely use the copy uh, option. If um, you are teaching a brand new course that you've never taught in our 2012-2013 release, then you're going going to want to choose search catalog and create a new course off the catalog and be able to create assignments and manage your materials from there. Um, hopefully this will help you decide whether you need to copy a course or create a new course off the catalog.